there is a wireless way you can transfer files from your computer to your iPad, and I'm not talking about emailing it to yourself. I mean storing the files online. There are many different services that let you do this, and the one we will look at today is called Dropbox. Download the Dropbox app for the iPad and create a new account. You are immediately given 2 gigabytes of storage capacity online. Access Dropbox from your computer either by going to dropbox.com or by downloading and installing Dropbox on your computer. Now the magic begins. Any file you add to Dropbox will automatically show up on your iPad or on any computer with access to the internet. You can view the files on your iPad directly in Dropbox, save them for offline viewing, or even open them in other apps such as Pages or Goodreader. Invite a friend to any folder in your Dropbox and they'll be able to see and use that folder as if it was theirs. This makes Dropbox ideal for group work if multiple people are working on the same files. You can even email a link to a specific file in your Dropbox, which means you don't have to worry about large attachments filling up your friends' inboxes. The one disadvantage of Dropbox is that apart from photos, you can't save new files created on your iPad back into Dropbox. That's where iTunes or emailing is needed. Nonetheless, backing up your important files in Dropbox means you're safe, even if your computer crashes or your USB goes missing again. You can work on your files from anywhere that has internet, and this makes Dropbox pretty cool indeed. 